Hey, Luke Symes with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna talk about using a pinfish trap to catch pinfish. Right now, we have tough conditions. A cold front just came through. This flat back behind me is usually, usually has about two feet of water on it. And, uh, and so we're gonna have to find the fish. Finding the pinfish is the hardest thing. These traps are pretty basic. I mean, how they work is you put some chum in the middle and they have these little, these little entryways where the pinfish can come in. They get in there, going after the chum, and then they have a really hard time getting out. They, have, they make them in different sizes, different shapes. They all do the same premise. Any trap sh should work just fine. I've tested out a variety of them. They all work. As long as you get in a good spot, you're gonna catch a lot of pinfish. If you don't get in a good spot, you're not gonna catch many pinfish. So it's really about picking the right spot, and I'll show you a trick for doing that. And it involves just a reel, you know, paddle tail on a jig head, and you can go out and find the pinfish with that. Uh, as far as chum, we're gonna be using this stuff right here. This works great. Pinfish are not very picky, so any kind of cut up bait fish or chum of any kind should work really, really good. You can even put cans of cat food in there, and that gets the job done. So, uh, what we're gonna do is again, finding the fish. So, what I'm gonna be doing is casting this paddle tail. This is a slam shady paddle tail. I'm on the outside edge of this grass flat, and I'm just gonna be casting around and, and feeling for pinfish strikes. Pinfish will come up and uh, they'll be tapping at it. And then so the areas where I find the most taps, that's where I put the trap. It's pretty simple and it's surprisingly effective. All right, so now I'm just gonna be casting. I'm gonna be just blind casting over this flat. And I, what I'm doing is I'm feeling for the pinfish taps. It's hard to do in this crazy wind, but uh, you can still fit, you know, when I get in a good spot, I will definitely feel them. And the fact that I'm seeing all these birds, all these birds up on the flat, means there's a lot of food. And that should, you know, all but guarantee that, uh, that we're gonna have some pinfish. I shouldn't say guarantee, because now we probably won't catch any. But that, that significantly increases the odds of bait being in the area when, uh, when, we, see, when we see that sort of, uh, that amount of birds. So right now I'm probably a little bit too shallow. It's probably like a foot and a half feet deep. But I'm gonna make a turn and now I can cast with the wind and now really start to feel these pinfish bites. The fact that we have this cold front, a lot of times this cold, a cold uh, snap like this will, uh, will often push the, the bait and, and the big fish too, that'll push it off the flat because it just got so cold so quickly and they'll go on the outer edges. And so I, as I'm drifting, right, really as I'm casting the feeling, I'm looking in the grass, I'm looking for flashes. You know, if they're, uh, again, if they're up in the shallows, I'll see them. Most likely they're gonna be in the deeper stuff and so we're just gonna let now let this wind just take us, take us down. And, uh, and again, once I get in the zone, I'm gonna feel them. And that's exactly where I'm gonna put the trap. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes while doing this, you actually catch some, oh, that, was a, that felt like a decent sized trout. Yeah, benefit of, uh, of doing this is you can actually catch some, uh, some good fish while doing it. These pinfish are gonna be down in the grass, so I'm getting this jig, just bouncing it just off top of the grass. All right, finally got in a good spot. I felt a bunch of, a good amount of uh, strikes there, even lost my stinking paddle tail. So there's a lot of stuff down there messing with us. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put the power pull down and we'll set this, this uh, pinfish trap and we'll see how many we can catch. All right, so now for, uh, for loading this, for loading the chum. Again, there's pinfish traps. Almost all of them will have a little chum slot and it should have a little gate there. And you put the chum in and then you have this, the bottom side down. I don't know if the bottom side down matters all that much. That's just how I've always done it. And it's, uh, it's worked for me, so I, I stick with it. So we're gonna get this, this chum out of this main bag. And we're going to slide this straight down in there shake out this nasty stuff we want to get as much of this scent out in the water as we can then we're going to lock that in so now the chum is in there and so now to, to load in the water I, I like to have the gate side down just so that it's down and, uh, and nothing can sneak in through the bottom so i'm just gonna do that right there and that has it now laying on the bottom you have these two buoys and we'll come back, it'll get probably about an hour or two, and we'll see how many we can get. All right, so time to pick up the pinfish trap. We'll see what we have. We've got the trap sitting here. It was sitting for just a little bit over an hour and a half. So this is definitely shorter a window than I would recommend. Uh, we should have some, but again, doing it overnight, doing that full chum bag, the chum bag and leaving overnight is gonna be a great way to get a ton of pinfish. So we're going to see what we have. Again, very short, 
very short window. Hopefully we have something. Got them. And we, even in that short window, we have an impressive amount of pinfish. One of them just flung out. And so just sitting in that short window, that's probably, I would say that's at least two, probably two dozen pinfish. Dozen and a half, that's impressive. Very, very impressive. So again, that's the power of these, of these chum blocks. Just put a chum block in, soak it just for a little bit. We're gonna let this stay longer. And, uh, and it's as simple as that. Just soak and wait. It's really about finding the good spot. Once you get the good spot, you can put a, a really any kind of chum. You can use any trap. Doesn't have to be a fancy one. Just any trap will do. Put it there, let it soak, and those pinfish will get in there. And you're gonna have a lot of really, really good bait with a very, very little effort. In this case, we had to spend a little bit of time to use that paddle tail and figure out where the, uh, you know, where the pinfish were. Took maybe 10 minutes. We found them, put the trap, and now we have a bunch of bait. And now we know this is a good bait spot. Yeah, these little pinfish are excellent bait. Pretty much everything eats them. Uh, you can obviously get them a lot, a lot bigger. Uh, this is just the one that, uh, that flipped out. But excellent, excellent bait. Again, super easy to get. You don't have to get super, uh, super wet on days like this when it's cold and you don't want to get wet. Great way to do it. Yeah, so the gear we used was a Slam Shady paddle tail. And if you, need, if you need that, go to slamshady.com. We actually offer a free pack to every saltwater fisherman. All you have to do is pay the shipping and handling. We'll give it to you free. It's at slamshady.com. You can claim yours. Uh, we got a pinfish trap. This, is a, this was a custom one that's, that's big that can fit a full chum block. You can get the smaller ones too. There's smaller ones on Amazon. You can get them, they work too. You just have to use a little bit smaller chum and you can't catch quite as many fish per, uh, per session. And that's it. It's really simple as that. Drop it, give it some time. And then uh, when you pick it up, you can have a ton of, uh, ton of bait fish. So thank you so much for your time and watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that guarantees you'll be catching more saltwater fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today